Guys, I'm gonna show you some quick and easy mods that you could do on your Char Griller Grand Champ Offset Smoker Griller Combo. All right, coming up. What's up, everybody? Welcome to CJ's Q. I'm CJ. Thank you for being with me today. Before you do anything, make sure you hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, join CJ's Q crew for real, and uh, you're ready for a good one. This video is not going to be a very long video, but I want to go over some things that I'm going to do to my Char Griller Grand Champ Offset Smoker to make it run a little bit more efficiently. Right now, out of the box, it is a very, very solid cooker. So don't get this twisted that I, I don't like anything about it or whatever, but I just see there's a couple few improvements we can make and I'm going to take you, you know, through those improvements. Okay. Couple things I've noticed right off the bat, although the firebox and the cooking chamber both come with gaskets around the doors on the firebox, it doesn't close all the way. So there's a, a little gap there that we're going to fill in with another gasket. And then on the opening for the cooking chamber, the gasket is kind of sticking to the cooking chamber up at the top so it's like shredding it as i open it we're gonna clear some of that out put a new gasket in there and just keep that one a little tight um i got some fire black sealant all right so we're gonna light a fire in this get it a real smoky fire okay so not what you want to cook with but i'm gonna light a log shut down the firebox and just you can see the smoke you'll see the the leaks in the in the firebox in the the chimney and in the cooking chamber okay the other thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna put in new temperature gauges on this char griller grand champ there are two sealed up holes you could add extra temperature gauges so right now they have a, a nut and bolt you know holding it in so i'm going to take that off we're going to add the new temp gauges to it um last thing we're going to do is uh drill holes into the side each side of the cooking chamber then we're going to add uh these port grommets that way you could feed your uh temperature probe through it and it won't lose the smoke or anything like that or you know let extra air in there okay so um i had to actually buy a drill bit for these these are a little bit bigger ports because it's such a big cooker i wanted to make sure that i had enough room for multiple ports to go in each side because i you know as you can see in the max out video and i'll put the link for it above me or whatever we put tons and tons of food in there could have used an extra couple probes in there so that's what we're gonna do like i said it's gonna be real easy uh nothing that anybody can't do but uh, i think it's necessary and it's gonna help this pit run 100 times better if you guys want to do any of these moderations to your pit your cooker i'm gonna put links down below for every product i used in these mods okay so you'll be able to click on it go to amazon get what you want to get for your cooker but again really easy to do any you know even if you're not very handy you should be able to handle this okay all right let's get over to the pit start working on these mods we'll set a fire so you can see where the leaks are and then uh get to town all right come on back i'm gonna take off these nuts right here and i'll show you the inside we're gonna take our lava lock temperature gauges. We're gonna stick it through. We're gonna take off this washer thing first. Get it lined up. Okay. Right, shut it down. So that's what the first one looks like. So we'll have one as the air exits on the grate side. We'll have one obviously on top. And then we'll have one as the firebox, you know, right by the firebox. And keep keep the nuts <laughs> like you see the comments but keep the nuts don't lose your nuts that would be a bad thing if you lost your nuts all right so we got the second one on obviously the same thing uh no big deal but we got both our new temp gauges in there looking good looking right we're gonna put the gaskets on all right now we're gonna work on uh fixing the gasket on here as you can see it's sticking that's no good i'm gonna take that little bit off i'm just gonna trim a bit of the stuff off over here give it a little haircut Okay, so we're gonna get, you know, about a five, six inch span right there. We'll just kind of measure it up. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. We're not professionals here. We're just backyard cooks, just trying to do the best we can. All right, so we'll just shove that right there. Okay. Okay, so the next thing I want you to see is the gap right here. So you can see there's some give. We're gonna probably do the gasket, you know, about here. 
you'll be able to see where it's touching where it's not and we'll take it all the way around underneath and up the side right, so we're going to take this felt this gasket from about here we're going to start the gasket about here over here all the way down underneath and back up again so let's kind of measure out from there to about there all right and since we're going to make it even on the other side uh, take another length and match it back match it to the other side so we got both our side lengths give it a cut and then we're going to measure side to side over here got that length and we'll just start right, so we're taking it right up the top down the bottom right here all right line it up the other side same thing you're doing it inside this little groove right here close enough all right the last thing is at the bottom right here outside the groove a fresh gaskets on all of them tight to there i might add an extra one right right above this but we're getting a little bit more uh, closing up that gap okay i ended up doubling up the gaskets right here at the bottom to get a little bit more a little more air gap seal right there i may take another one down the side once i light it and see where the fire's coming from see i doubled up on the gaskets put two extra ones down there and then up again this side right here you can see where i added the second one all right guys we're gonna light the fire now it's got one log in there we're just gonna get it smoking i just want to see where the the leaks are okay okay we got a log smoking we're gonna go ahead and shut down the lid and we're gonna let it uh hopefully start smoking up where we can see any leaks in there okay we got some good smoke in there so we can kind of see where we're at got a little bit coming out of this gap right here but nothing too crazy but it probably could stand to uh put a little more uh, gasket in there maybe i was expecting to see some more around this i still might Ooh, okay i still might put some uh, sealant around the edge right there you can see where the pipe fitting comes into uh, the cooking chamber. So right up in here, let me get that, there you go. I'm gonna put some up in, in here. Unfortunately, we gotta let this cool down a little bit, but uh, I needed to see the smoke to see where the okay, leaks Being were. the impatient person I am, I've, let, I've opened up the cooking chamber and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the, the sealant here. And we're gonna go around this we're gonna go around this edge right here. Pretty big bead all the way around. Okay, then I'm gonna use my, uh, have a glove on. And I'm just gonna fill it in all the way around. Get it in the crevice. Now it's gonna be hard for me to, you know, push this up in there. So I'm gonna take some of it and put it on my finger. Okay, and do the same thing, just fill it in into the gap. Again, it does not have to look pretty, just needs to be functional. This is a high temperature sealant, okay? So don't be like going to Home Depot and grabbing whatever, you know, whatever silicone you can find or sealant you can find. It needs to be a high temp sealant. Probably the only place I'm gonna put this stuff. Everything else has got a nice gasket around it. I don't really see any other need for it. You don't need to do it on the outside on the chimney pipe because you're obviously doing it on the inside, so you don't need it in there. So that's it for this part. Now it's time to add the rubber grommets to add the, the pit. So the first thing we're gonna do is just wanna say eyeball it, but eyeball it. We're gonna go about three inches in. So you're kind of looking where you're at right here. We're gonna go about three inches in and then about two inches up. If you're coming over to the side right here, you can kind of level it out. This is where you want to start the measurement from about here. All right, so we level it out right about there. Want to come about three inches in from that spot. Gonna use a little mark right here. And we want to go about two inches up from that. And you got to remember that your drill bit, you know, we're going to one and one fourth. Okay, so build that into your measurement. So I'm going to go up about two inches from there, but then come back down about an inch all right so we're going to drill a pilot hole right there and we're going to do the same thing on the other side if it's not completely symmetrical it's you know not the end of the world but i'm going to start a pilot hole and then we'll use the big drill bit okay and again this isn't something you have to do if you're a little squeamish about drilling into your brand new pit i get it but we're going to start this off with just the regular drill bit
Make sure you're wearing your safety glasses. Okay, let's switch it up. Okay, and we're just gonna take it nice and slow. We'll get it to that one and one fourth drill bit size. Yeah, we got the hole drilled out. Now let's go get the grommet and put it right, in. Just gonna feed it in. Okay, so it takes a little bit to get it in there. You know, you want a tight seal in that bad boy. We're gonna feed this through so we can check it out. All right, so we get one in there. And again, we're just messing around here. So if they have a big, you know, port topper <laughs> i don't know what this thing's called then you, you won't use it in this one but you can fit it through the bottom one you get a couple in there okay and of course it's gonna get dirty but you know it is what it is all right so that's how that's done pretty simple very effective all right let's get the other side okay we got the other one on again we're just sliding it through and it's on the grate so this gives us plenty of room to add extra probes throughout this without pinching the wire in the lid all right, right y'all that's the end i'm gonna go through what we used all right so or what we did we added grommets on each side we drilled holes into the fire pit so we could put our uh, probes through we added an intake thermometer gauge and then another one over here for an outtake and more grill grade level. Of course, we still have the one that came with it. Another uh, grommet over here. You put temperature probes on each side. Uh, sealant on the inside of this. Right, so on the inside, I'll try to throw a shadow on it. Threw some sealant all the way around that gap. Over here, we fixed this gasket because it came off. We added extra gaskets over here to uh, make sure we have plenty of sealant when the fire's going, keep that smoke rolling. All right, guys, so that's it. I'll put the links down below for uh, everything I used and they'll be all Amazon links. But hopefully this thing helps you to uh, get going a little bit more. With the changes we did on this bad boy, it'll make an even better pit out of it. Like I said, it's a good pit. Like it's ready for, uh, it's ready to go from uh, opening out of the box. But this will just help it run a little bit smoother, give me a little bit more idea of, you know, the temperatures on the inside, easier access without pinching my uh, probe cords, a little tighter uh, seal on the outtake here. But overall, we got a good setup here. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you all for stopping by. Thanks for uh, modding out your barbecue with CJ, huh?